Hello everyone, uh, I'm Tuya from Hectalizer team. So today I will show you how we can create a simple rules in Curator SIEM, right? So uh, Curator is one of the most popular sims, uh, commercial sim solutions out there. So I'm using the Curator uh, Community Edition, which is kind of like free version, free version with a limited uh, access for testing and demonstration right so yeah this is this is uh, the curator dashboard right so uh, today we'll create a simple rules uh, for uh, for our analyst to get a uh, ticket to analyze so right now when we go to the offense that offense step so which is kind of like the uh, the uh, alert or the ticket for the analyst right now we don't have any ticket but we'll create a we'll create an automation or some kind of rule to generate the tickets for analysts right so uh, today uh, our scenario is we have a log source which is our linux machine the kali linux and then the log source is forwarding and forwarding and generating logs to curator Right, this is our curator uh, host. Both are running in a VM, right? So currently we can see like uh, the real time logs from the log activity. These are the uh, real time logs which are coming to the curator, right? So let's see, let's say, uh, we'll create a log like. Uh, user at uh, curator test one. So once we create a user, then we'll see the log is uh, we'll see the log is coming to the curator. We can filter like with our IP address. Uh, like this is the IP address of the log source, so we can filter the. We can filter with the IP address. And Here we can see our log source, which is our Kali Linux, and we can see that we can see the event which create, which is the user creation event. Uh, once we look at to the event, this is the actual raw logs which is coming from our Linux machine, right? And here. Yeah, we are we are doing like if we see this event, if we see these raw logs coming to the curator, then we'll create a uh, offense ticket for our analyst so that the analyst can uh, do more and more detail, check more detail, and they can verify with system owner for this unusual activity. If somebody create a, a user in that in the server in the target uh, log source, right? So maybe the malware might create a user account or somebody hacked to the server and they may create a user account so we want to detect these kind of activities right so the easiest way is we have the QID which is the which is a numerical representation of these uh, specific event in curator so this event this event uh, detected by curator when we check with a numerical representation, we have this number. So this number represents this event. These are user creation events. So what we are doing is we detect with this number, whatever the curator generate this number will create an offense for our analyst. Okay, so first we'll copy this number, uh, right? So, and then we'll go to like uh, curator offenses 
and then rules and we'll create a new event rule because this is based on the event right and uh, we will choose events uh, we will not choose flow or something like that because we are detecting from the events right the logs so here here is a tricky part because if you are new to curator then yeah this might be somewhat confusing to you but we'll do more and more and we'll understand bit by bit later right for uh, for today's scenario we are detecting with the QID right so we can uh, give the rules name our rules name like uh, unusual user behavior right uh, right uh, we can create like this and then we'll choose this uh, rule right this condition like when the event QID is one of the following QID right and our QID is uh, a user creation uh, right activity so let's say we have this QID okay so we search as we see this QID is belong to user account edit activity right so we are detecting this activity so we'll add this one and then we'll submit to our rules right so now our QID a 442501.95 which is represented to user account added activity right and we can put this rule in something like uh, 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 abnormally group or you can put in any other group right you want and also you, we can put notes this row is to usual user creation right so we can put whatever we want and this page we can choose role respond and role action things like that so uh, We'll choose this one for the rule action with the index with the username because we are focused on the user account creation and also we'll, we'll need to create an offense when we detect this uh, activity, this uh, locked. We can put whatever we want, right? Also, we can choose uh, like severity, relevances, credibility, things like that. Uh, for this one, we can choose suspicious activity and we can, uh, or we can choose like you. Uh, authentication or something like that and uh, user account added right right so and also we'll we'll click this one for uh, in this based on the username and then we'll contribute with the associated offense information right also we can send email to get a notification on things like that and then we'll enable this rule right away okay so this this is the rule summary we can check before we we click the finish also we can copy this one for our documentation right so and then we'll click the finish So we can check our role here we go because this one is created by us user not generated from the system so this is our role 
and you show you the behavior so it is enabled right now and also it is uh, the information about the rule is below here so what we can do now is we can monitor the offense uh, menu often page right now we don't have any offense so we'll create an a user to get an offense right so we'll create with user curator test tool right so once we create a user in our Linux server we can see whether this log is forwarding to curator uh, hold on hold on okay. uh, still now we don't see any lock regarding this user uh, here here we go uh, here yeah curator test to right user account is added we see the raw log right yeah and we can check in the offense here we go right so now we got an often which is basically uh, something like ticket for the uh, for the analyst so once we see the ticket, then we can assign the ticket to our analysts and we can let them analyze, let them verify with the system owner or something like that. Also, we can see, uh, we can add note for this ticket. We can close the ticket if this is non-issue or false positives or policy violation. Uh, we can give the reason here and then we can close the ticket or we can assign it to the somebody, we can email, we can add note here, like this is done from system owner, something like that, right? So this is the somewhat kind of like ticketing for the curator. So we call it offenses. So yeah, that's all for this video. I just want to show how rule has been created in Curator. For the, we can, yeah, we can create more rule with more complex logic. But right now I'm focusing on the simple one, right? This one, this one is our rule. So I just created a simple one with based on the QID for this event. So we can create an another rule like you know when the source port is this or when the destination port is this or what is a protocol and there are many logic and also there are many building plots which are preset in the curator. So we'll do these uh, complex thing later. So for this video I'm just showing you the simple one, uh, simple one to catch simple activity and get the offenses, get the tickets for analyst to do further analysis, right? So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. We'll see more about Curator on other coming video, right? Thank you.